Here are the best, most wearable fashion trends of 2023. I really recommend that you add a few of your favorites to your existing wardrobe just to spice it up a bit, just to freshen it up for the new year. Everything is linked down below in the description box and surprise, surprise, it's all from Nordstrom. You guys know they're my favorite. I love the brands, I love the quality, and I really think there's something for everyone in this video. There's so many different styles. All right, so we are starting with a vintage looking striped knitted polo sweater. Polo sweaters are so in right now. I'm gonna show you actually a kind of more like up-to-date version, but this is more of like a vintage vibe. I love the color. I love the tiny knitted stripes. I love the button detail. The length of this sweater is really nice if you want to leave it untucked, but if you do have some high-waisted jeans, you could tuck it in. It'll be really flattering and give you a nice slim looking waistline if that's your thing. And again, the collar is really what um, we're seeing a lot of lately in the, in the sweater. So I love this and that actually leads me to the next thing I wanted to talk about, which is actually blush. So it's having a moment right now. Do you see how bright and pink this blush is? It's by Westman Atelier, which is one of my favorite blush brands just because it blends so easily. I have a lot of other colors in much more subdued shades, but for this trend, I ordered the shade Pop It. And here I am applying it on my face and it blends really easily, but the trend or the trend actually comes in when you put it on your nose, which sounds kind of weird, but again, that's the trend. It really gives you a youthful look, kind of gives you a sun-kissed glow because it's kind of mimicking a, a little slight sunburn from the sun. And I really like the way it looks. I'm wearing it again today. It's just really pretty. And I'm actually gonna insert this blush, which I just ordered. It's by Dior. It's kind of pricey, but it's blowing up. It's again, a bright kind of baby pink and people are just loving it. Okay, now here is the other striped polo sweater that I wanted to share. It's a lot more preppy. So I actually like this one a little bit better and I'll tell you why. It's, it is a little bit more wearable. Some people might maybe say it's more boring. I don't know, but I love how you can show off jewelry with this kind of open neckline, but it still has the collar. Uh, this actually is navy stripes, but you can find ones that are black. I'll link a few options down below. This is by the brand Madewell. I am wearing an extra small. I have all of my sizing listed down below as well. I know that's sometimes helpful. Helpful. Now I did mention jewelry, so I wanted to share this herringbone necklace, which is very on trend right now. This is a much bolder version, but I'm wearing it with that polo sweater, just to again show you that it looks great with jewelry. Even layered jewelry would be nice, but I like this, how it kind of like stands on its own. It's a little bit thicker than you typically see. Again, it is by the brand Madewell, which I didn't even plan that, but it's really, really pretty. Now this broad shoulder top shop coat just pulls it all together, such a classic style, but so on trend right now because of the broad shoulders. So we're definitely in the winter months. This is something that you could wear year round. It's obviously not a super, super warm winter coat, but it's something you can throw on, be warm and wear a lot. Again, I love how broad the shoulders are. It just looks so stylish, so chic, so elevated. And the color is just perfection. The sun is finally coming out. Am I too bright? I don't know. We're going to run with it, but we're going to move on <laughs> to a completely different trend. Some will love this, some will hate this, but they are cargo pants. And these are really good ones because of how customizable they are. So I think you can get them in different colors. Obviously I have beige. I love kind of the pockets on them, but as you may notice, it initially looks really, really big on me. So this is a size extra small. Um, and what you do is is actually bungee cord the side so that it fits you perfectly. And then you just tuck the bungee cord directly into the side of the pants so like they're not hanging out. Now, maybe you can see in the video, I'm kind of torn between two different styles of shoe with this particular pair of pants. I think both could work, but I think it kind of depends on how you cinch the bottoms of these pants. So if you want to do more of a cool hip sneaker look, I would actually recommend that you cinch the bottoms of these pants with, again, the bungee cord, you just cinch it and then tuck up the cord up underneath and it gives it kind of a bubbled look, but it looks so good with so many different sneakers and Nikes are also having a huge moment. I mean, who knew that you couldn't, you just couldn't even get your hands on certain styles of vintage looking Nikes. So these I believe are 
in stock. If you like them, I love the beige neutral tone of them. Again, so incredibly wearable with so many different outfits, but I really do like them with these cargo pants. But again, if you hate the cargo pants, I'm telling you, you'll be able to wear these with jeans. You'll be able to wear them with joggers. They're so comfortable. And as far as sizing, they are true to size. I love these, cannot say enough good things. If you are enjoying this video at all, I would love for you to subscribe. It's totally free. Just hit the button down below. I would love to have you back. Now let's go back to these loafers and the cargo pants because these actually look amazing with the cargo pants if you have them uncinched. So just don't cinch the bottoms, have the pants look a little bit more flowy and wide leg. And I think they look so nice with these chunky loafers that I, I love so much that I originally got them in this color. And then I recently decided to get the black as well. They're just my go-to loafers. And I think sometimes people don't know how to style these types of shoes or what pants to wear with them. So obviously the cargo pants were fine, um, but also consider skinny jeans. You know, there's the debate, are skinny jeans still on trend? Are they not? Who the heck cares? Wear what you love. But I actually think skinny jeans look so good with these types of loafers. Look at this outfit. I'm wearing just really nice, like simple skinny jeans. I guess there is some distressing. Threw on these loafers and just a little like, you know, shirt jacket. I think when you just mix a, a newer trend, like these chunky loafers with an older trend, the skinny jeans, it brings it all together and makes you look very fresh and up to date. Now on the flip side, here are these black loafers. And this time I did style them with more wide leg pants. Uh, and, and this is just, this is great too. So really, I just wanted to show you that some are scared to, you know, take the plunge with these because they think they're just too big and clunky, but I really think they're a lot lot easier and more wearable than you might expect. Now, throughout these outfits, you may have seen me wearing a crop top. I'm wearing one right here. I'm wearing this one. It's a nude one. These are, these are by free people. I am hooked on them. I have them just in these two colors, but I love how they are double lined. I don't wear a bra with them. There, there isn't an actual bra built in or anything, but for me, I think it's fine without a bra. But what I love is this super, super skinny, stretchy strap, and you can just wear them by themselves if you want. Really, I think they're just a great layering piece with a jacket or a cardigan, or it could actually serve as like an underneath piece as well. So that actually leads me to naked dressing, which what? What the heck is that? That's actually a trend right now. Um, some people are like taking it super far and they're like basically wearing a very sheer top with like a little tiny bra and they're like showing kind of a lot of skin without showing skin. And I wanna make it more wearable. So I am wearing that black crop top and then I got this very sheer kind of oversized shirt and you can wear it buttoned up. And I just love the crop top underneath just so I'm not revealing too much. Uh, today I'm just wearing it unbuttoned and it's just, it's just a really nice kind of different trend, but still cool. I don't know. I just really like it. Now I said back in 2022 that emerald green was a huge trend and it still is, but we really saw it a lot in clothing. We saw it a lot in handbags, even watch faces. But this year I wanted to share a different way to wear the trend. And it's actually with jewelry with like emerald green toned jewelry. So I love these earrings, especially with this black. I feel like black and emerald green are just perfect together, but these are so simplistic and and you can actually get these particular earrings in other colors, but I, again, I'm really drawn to the green and it's really cool on the other side, you can't see it, but in the back, it actually says be kind. Um, so I, I really like the message of it, but, the style is also really nice too. Long maxi skirts are also trending right now, but let's be real. This is a trend that comes in, it comes out, it comes in, it comes out. I mean, it all just, I have to sneeze. Phew. I'm just gonna leave that in because that sounded so pathetic. Anyway, this maxi skirt is just really simplistic. And I think that's what we're seeing. We're not seeing crazy patterns and really bright patterns when it comes to maxi skirts. Now, this is nice because it is a sweater material. It's a little bit ribbed, so it does work well in the winter months. However, you could easily style this for warmer weather. So I'm gonna show you a few examples. Um, let's start with just just the, the warm, let's just, um, I want warmer weather. So I'm just gonna show you that first with that crop top. 
Um, and the, I love mixing black and brown, so just do it. That's such an old, weird style rule. Mix black and brown, looks great with those chunky loafers. And then if you are in the colder climate, you could actually throw on a sweater with this, like a pullover sweater. Again, bringing in that trend of the collared preppy look, add some heels and you're looking good. Everything from this video will be linked down below along with a few other of my favorite trends that I didn't mention. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you're new and I will see you very soon in my next one. Bye.